Hey guys, Will here with Into Mobile, and we have an iPhone 4 here. But what's even cooler about this iPhone 4 is that I have just installed Google Voice. That's right. This is not some third party Google Voice app. This is not GB Mobile Plus or one of those other hokey uh, wannabe Google Voice apps. This is the official Google Voice app. It just went live. It's made by Google, just got approved for the App Store, and it's in there. That's the way I downloaded this. And I wanted to kind of give you guys a, a walkthrough of the app that has finally, uh, the Google Voice app that has finally made it to the iPhone. The, pretty much the absence of which is the reason I carry around uh, an Android phone as well as an iPhone, as a matter of fact, um, in everyday use. I'm going to sign in real quick. And of course, I'm not showing you guys my password, but there we go. Um, let's see. We have all my numbers here. So the first screen is you get to select an existing number. This phone is my iPhone, so I'm going to tap on this phone. I'm going to allow push notifications because, of course, I want them in the background. And there we go. We have the full Google Voice app with dialer, with contacts, with, you know, you could set up your settings, right? Your, your balance, your phone, about your inbox for all your messages, your starred messages, your history, voicemail, text. Voicemail is all right here. If I had, there we go. My voicemail is all right there. My texts are all right there, and all my received missed calls, they're all right here. So basically, we now have full Google Voice support on the iPhone, and it looks just pretty much as you would expect for an iPhone app to look. Everything has the little kind of bubble bubble icons, and uh, um, I can just reply to, say, his message by tapping here. I can call, text, add, quick dial, show his contact, or reply by text message. I can just uh, reply here, meeting today at three gonna send it sending sending okay sent alright cool so it'll also actually work in the background what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send myself a text message real quick from my Evo um, let's see I'm gonna go through the messaging side so I don't send Google Voice to Google Voice that'd be kind of stupid right um, I'm going to send it to ah there we go and it's we just got the replay Reply the replay. Um, what I want to show you though is with the app not necessarily running. I want to see. I want to show you guys what that looks like. What I'm going to actually do. You see the the actually. Uh, I'm going to take it out of. That's my uh, background task. I'm going to take it out of background task. You can see that the badge actually shows me um, my current unread message count, right? As you would expect it to. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send myself a little message test. I'm going to send it. And let's see what happens on my phone. It just sent. You can see it says test. Aha! Uh -huh, I got it on Google Voice on here because I have Google Voice installed. And what happens here? Google Voice pops up in the background. It's not running in the background. It actually uh, notified me that I could view it, that I have this message. And it's sitting for me. It's waiting for me right in my Google Voice inbox. Takes a second to, to load. Oh, pull to refresh. Oh, that's kind of a cool feature. Hold on. I guess it's a little stuck here. There we go. And I just, oops, pulled a refresh. Kind of cool, just like uh, other apps that do the pull to refresh, like um, Foursquare and stuff. So here's my test message. Awesome. Great. So that's a quick little look at Google Voice for the iPhone.